dear friend. It takes hardly any effort to recognize the darkness of our times, the pervasive confusion and evil which has overclouded the whole world. So many have succumbed to feeling overwhelmed by the battle, or merely have decided to look the other way, leaving the solution to someone else. And what about you, dear friend? Do you know where to turn in the midst of all the moral and social madness? Are your ears open? Can you hear Jesus' cry from every tabernacle in the world? If you had known in this day, even you, the things which make for peace, yes, the solution for every single problem in the world, from the smallest and most personal of your own life to the most global and universal problem of evil, the source of true world peace, the greatest gift you can give your loved ones is as close as your nearest Adoration Chapel, where Jesus Christ, King and Redeemer of the universe, awaits you in the most blessed sacrament. There He waits for us to come humbly adore Him, to worship Him under the appearance of bread in the Holy Eucharist. And there too He suffers horrendous outrages piercing sacrileges, and the coldest indifference from his own people. As a disciple of our Eucharistic Lord, you are invited to take part in the greatest mission possible, to love Jesus in the most blessed sacrament and to spread love for him. By simply quenching his thirst to be loved, you gain graces for the conversion and salvation of countless souls throughout the world. This mission doesn't require you to travel to distant lands or demand many hours of difficult labor. There are no meetings, no theological classes, no extra time away from your home, family, work, or studies. You can become a missionary right where you are, right in the life you are called to live now. The world is in turmoil and in need of deep healing, and yet we are not turning to the only one who can heal us, Jesus Christ, the living God, dwelling with us in his holy Catholic Church, in the most blessed sacrament. Anywhere you go, you will find countless people who have fallen away from the Church and their faith. How often we hear, oh, I used to be Catholic. Too much hypocrisy. All the scandal and division. Out of love for God and love for souls, we as disciples are sent to engage the world around us and bring these souls back home. How? Disciples commit to two things. A weekly holy hour spent in the sacred presence of our Eucharistic Lord and sharing the Sing Your Love booklet. The weekly holy hour spent with our Lord is a powerhouse source of love, grace, peace, and healing for yourself, for your loved ones, for the world. It is spending time face to face with Jesus, the same Jesus who became man, died on the cross and rose again, all for love of you. How is a Disciples Weekly Holy Hour different? Whereas we usually come to the feet of our Lord, Jesus Christ, bringing Him our needs, anxieties, and troubles, praying for all our loved ones and our intentions, disciples spend their weekly holy hour solely and consciously loving Jesus on behalf of those who don't, consoling His sacred and Eucharistic heart, making acts of love and reparation for the abandonment indifference he suffers at every moment. Disciples trustingly lay everything at his feet and, in union with the Immaculate Heart of Mary, focus on adoring God Almighty before us under the appearance of bread. This holy hour can be spent in the sacred presence of our Lord, either enthroned on the altar or hidden in the tabernacle. 
And if you are homebound or unable to make it to a chapel or church, you can make a spiritual holy hour at home. In addition to the holy hour, a disciple of our Eucharistic Lord shares the Sing Your Love booklet as the Holy Spirit inspires them to with those whom they encounter as they go about their daily life. The booklet, endorsed by Bishop Athanasius Schneider, contains the essence of our Catholic faith. With short daily meditations, this booklet is already changing lives and inspiring souls to a deeper love for Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. You don't have to argue or debate or convince or judge anyone. Our part as disciples is to love and adore the Lord and then love our brothers and sisters around us no matter where they are in their walk of faith. No matter what criticisms we encounter, a disciple listens with understanding and gentleness, then offers the booklet, encouraging those they meet to read it and to discover or rediscover the beauty of our Catholic faith, to take to heart that adoring Jesus in the most blessed sacrament is going to change their lives and change the world, and then pray for them. The Lord will take care of the rest. In the 1976 Eucharistic Congress in Philadelphia, then Cardinal Karol Wojtyła spoke these prophetic words. We are now standing in the face of the greatest historical confrontation humanity has ever experienced. We are now facing the final confrontation between the Church and the Anti-Church, between the Gospel and the Anti-Gospel, between Christ and the Antichrist. The very key to winning this spiritual battle being played out in our lives and throughout the world lies within reach. Loving and adoring Jesus Christ in the most blessed sacrament is the answer for all the madness of the world today, for the stresses in our own lives and our one true defense. Yet how few in the world, how few in the church know. If you are someone who realizes that there is no solution to the problems of the world or the problems of the church, except through the Holy Eucharist. The Lord may be calling you to be a disciple. Will you heed His call to spread His light in the darkness? Have confidence, Jesus tells us. I have overcome the world. <laughs>